What a week, huh, Cali? Let's do a recap. It's the first time I've ever done this, everyone. But here, here's the videos for the week. I feel like they should all be put together in one place for y'all. So does Cali. Thanks, sweetheart. Yeah. Water's coming up fast. Fun times in Tillamook again. Door open. Ah! Gotta give a shout out to the walls again. Not supposed to get milk picked up today, but we are. The waters are coming up. So, right now I'm feeding all our heifers. I'm feeding them a half as much more, or half as much, but so like 1.5 times as much as normal. Does that even make sense? Anyway, because it looks like the flood waters are going to stick around tonight and start receding during the night. So I don't want to have to try and drive through flood waters in the morning to feed everybody. So getting a little extra, I get that in the satellite there that we have too. Um, and I'm going to feed in tonight's feeding at the main farm as soon as I'm done with these heifers and load for in the morning so that. I won't have to feed anything again until tomorrow. Uh, because, uh, it's gonna cause it's gonna cause more work for the guys and I tomorrow because we'll have to clean mangers. There'll be stuff at the bottom where the cows just don't want to eat it. We'll just sit there for a day and a half. So floods. Floods are just fun. So this one's a bit of a uh, puzzling one because the flooding is good and the rivers come up so fast that this section is not really flooded yet because it backflows up a creek to flood this area. So yeah, it's an interesting one this time. So that's about to break in front of the barns which will shut up. Ignore that. But at least the ducks and seagulls and everybody are having fun, right? Yeah. We're gonna go feed. We'll go load one more time. Fun times. So we just got done feeding the uh, main herd their night feeding we fed it at 9 a.m instead of 3 p.m so i get to shut these gates and juno down there is gonna have to work a little harder today <laughs> but now i'm headed up to load one more load for in the morning fun times so now that you guys are all worried about me and worried that we're flooding and yada 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 i this is, I'm up where my feed commodity barn and my bunkers are, where I just finished loading for tomorrow morning. And it's, it, it really breaks it down for you. You can kind of see the flood water starting to come through the brush line there. Um, we're filling in a low spot there. In the fog down there is the actual farm. I guess it's not fog, it's rain. Um, and if you look closely, start to see the water on the right side of the barns, that's where I was just feeding. It'll, sh it'll uh, start going in front of the barns, it'll block us off, I'm going to be jumping in a tractor to bring it home. Yeah. It's uh, going to get a little wet, going to get a little floody, we are fine, the cows are fine, peppers are fine, everybody's locked in barns. Oh, no, you lock your barn, cows in barns? Yeah, I wonder why. Anyway, I'm going to get out of the rain. This really gives you a good, clear picture, though, until it goes out of focus on me, um, of what's going on. It's just another day in paradise, everyone. Don't worry, we're fine. The water's, the flood's going to flood. It's just what we deal with. We get 80 to 120 inches of rain, depending on the year. We flood. I'm gonna go take the truck down, park it for in the morning, 
jump in the tractor, go home, have some coffee, some breakfast, put the clothes away that my wife pulled it yesterday that I told her I'd get put away last night. So, life, life goes on. Have a good day, everyone. And there you have it. We're starting to run across the road. Fun times. An hour ago, this was not here. As you can see, it's filling in from that side and from that side now. I'm coming back in tonight when it's deeper. That'll be a fun video for you guys, won't it? <laughs> Not really anything worth catching here, so let's let's go try somewhere else on the farm. What do you say? Hey girl, have you seen any fish running? Should I try over there? I think there might be some behind me. What do you think, girl? Should I go fishing? All right, we're gonna go fishing. We're gonna find ourselves a fish. Well, it's not deep enough here to run a bobber. We're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go over there. It's deeper over there. What are you doing, girl? What, what is that stuff? <laughs> Just not sure about this whole water everywhere. He did let him out. Just remember in farming, nothing bad ever happens and everything is always perfect. Right, Mom? Never show anything that could be construed as negative towards agriculture because we all know that's not real life. But in all seriousness, everybody, water's already going down. So don't worry about us. We're fine. It's just a normal winter in Tillamook. What can I say? Um, but it is a great time to talk about the new facilities that I've been hinting at. Um, getting bids, getting blueprints, have the initial okay through our bank. Exciting times break ground in June probably be in the new facilities by 2022 sometime in the beginning of 2022 outside the floodplain up by my feed bunkers and my feed commodity barn none of this anymore no more dealing with this just my mom and dad will have to because they still will live down here good times <laughs> oh, excuse me. Pick it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
gotta be really cognizant of where I'm at. And I actually have to put my nose towards the current more than I would like because it will push the front tires like it is right now. If it pushes them if too much, it's not no bueno if that happens. Oh, we're going through the deepest part right now. We're heading up to get Johnny. Just got to pay attention for logs. Because a log hitting us would probably not be a good thing either. I can barely see the brush line, which signifies where the drop-off is on the flap. But it's starting to to get out of the deep area. Oh, we're in the van. Life is quite a dream. And we're out of the deep area. And now what I'm looking for is see where there's can't really see it, but there's a ripple over here, which means it's a higher area, which is where I want to drive. We're almost, we're almost where the road is. I hate driving through flood waters. My dad's been up all night, babysitting the pump. We went to bed last night with the water going down, so I went home. So I'm going to get Johnny so that I can send Dad home. Take a moment and enjoy that sunrise. So I know a lot of you have been worried about us. Uh, river got considerably higher than when they projected it and where they projected it to get. We didn't get water in the barns. Cows are fine. Cows are fed. I'm going to have to switch up my feed feeding program tonight, probably. Um, We'll see how that goes when the water recedes, but all in all, it could have been a lot worse. Everybody's happy, healthy, cows got milked. Hopefully it'll go down enough that sometime tonight the milk truck can get in. Right here, check out this view. So this is, this is usually where I go down with the lane. This morning to get in, I actually followed that grass path between the river floodwaters and the creek floodwaters. 
And then the video you saw this morning was from the barns to over there. So that's the main farm. All this is water right now. It's uh, considerably higher than what they were projecting it to do on Monday or yesterday. In fact, we had we had started to recede last night, like I said, and then we got pounded more with more rain and wind last night. Yeah, and ended up only getting to 16.5, I believe, but enough to cause issues, as you can see. It's going to be a beautiful morning. That's good. Come forward a bit. What's that, Molly? Yeah, it did get a little scary there, didn't it? And you guys didn't even know what was going on, did you? No, you didn't. Oh, but in all seriousness, um, it was right there. It, it was within that much, that that much more height than we would have had water in the barns and life would have been that much more annoying. Um, the girls would have been affected a lot more than they were. As it is, they didn't even know we had a flood going on other than one, one of their feedings was not their normal ration. All in all, we survived and it was a good week. Um, Dad's been putting up with this flooding down here for 68 years. I've been putting up with it for, well, since I was born too, so 38 years. And by the time I am 40, we will be in new facilities and no longer be doing, dealing with this stuff. And part of that is because of you guys, so thank you um continue to like comment share that's how how this stuff gets out there to people um like my facebook follow my facebook like and follow my instagram or follow whatever it's 3 40 in the morning just give me a break and then go over to the, the youtube and follow me there too thanks everyone